Hey guys, and welcome to the uh, placement test for system eight of the guitar daily workout. Uh, so again, you you know the drill on these if you've been through a couple of them. Uh, this is really to test and see is book eight the right book for you to be able to practice. And again, with all of these, uh, the guitar daily workouts, it's really about having mastery of these skills. You know, a lot of people, they can have like a, an ascent of knowing something, you know, uh, there's a bunch of different scales that I like know and I've, I've heard of and I've used a little bit, but I don't really know how to apply them. And I'm, they, I don't have them under my fingers in a lot of places. Um, so this is, you should have a mastery of this. Uh, if you know this stuff and you know, I ask you the questions on this and you just know it off the top of your head and you can play it, then book eight is not the right book for you. You should move on to, uh, to book nine. Or even if you're like mostly there, you know, you're, you're pretty good at them, uh, where you feel like you could actually start to apply some of this stuff. Uh, but you know, if you don't quite know this stuff, if it's a little bit foggy, if you're a little tentative on it, if it takes you a second to even figure out what I'm asking, then book eight might be a good thing for you to do. Uh, and one thing on this too is, you know, I've, I've written all of these books, uh, so I, you know, I know this material, uh, but I could go back into book one or book two or book three, and I could learn from those because it's also a workout program. You know, just because I know how to, to run on a uh, treadmill doesn't mean that running on a treadmill for an hour wouldn't be good for me. I know how to do sit-ups, but I probably, you know, if I could do 40 sit-ups, I'd be happy, you know, and if I did them every day, it would do something good for me. So going through these is also really good uh, for your mind, for your fingers, for your strength, for your focus, for your agility, for your tone, all of that stuff sort of comes together in these scale exercises. Uh, you know, as I've said so many times before, scales are not everything. You're not going to be a great player because you know scales really well, but you won't be a great player if you don't know any scales and you don't know how to apply these things. So this is giving the foundations to be able to capably get into and apply some of these skills that we're learning as we go along. All right. So enough of that. Uh, in book eight, as I said, this is the close of the intermediate series. Um, so this is, you know, to be a really strong intermediate guitar player. Um, you know, these, these are good books for you to go through uh, books five through eight. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to, I'm going to quiz you on is we're going to do arpeggios, uh, seventh arpeggios in one position. As we saw with the triads, this is super, super, super important. I can't overemphasize how important this is to do. Um, so let's just take, um, let's take, I don't know, uh, let, let's take the key of F in the C form. What I'm going to do is two bars of each of these. I'm going to start from the root note and I'm going to go up and down the arpeggio to the last note that I find, which I think I'm going to end on four. And then I'm going to move on to the next arpeggio. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'll, I'll sort of walk you through it. So if I played all of these arpeggios, I'm going to play F major. G minor. A minor seven. B flat major seven. Um, C seven. Sorry about that. As I say, I, I have mastery of these. D minor seven. And E half diminished. And then back to the F major seven. And again, you should be able to get through those with just a tiny bit of practice if you're good enough on these and you know, if you're ready to move on to the next book. Uh, if, if you're like, man, I don't know if I know these at all, um, you know, maybe you know some of them, but not all of them in one position, uh, this would be a really good uh, book for you to be in. Okay, the next thing that we're going to go through, um, this you might not know, and this is a really good thing to practice. Um, I'm going to go through the three on a string pentatonic. So basically what I'm going to do is take two forms of the pentatonic. And I'm going to combine them. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go up one. And then I'm going to go into the next form. I think that's what I do. And then up one form. 
into the next form. And so on. So you should be, you know, I mean, the, the end game on this is to really have some speed with these. Uh, and I'm not trying to show off, I'm just showing like that's what the application of this ultimately is. So if that's something you haven't done before, this would be a good one for you. And I can tell you these low ones, uh, the low, they can really start to like burn on your hand and they'll get a little bit faster through uh, through each week. It never ends up as fast as what I was playing, but it's you know really good for uh, singing left and right hand, but also for that stretching and some great exercises in general. Uh, so again, if you know that stuff, good move on to book nine, but if not, book eight's the book for you. The last thing we're gonna do is basically the same thing that we did in the last, um, uh, the last book, I'm going to go through all of my hexatonics, major and minor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of them in one form. So let's say uh, for you as the quiz, let's do um, E flat major, uh, C form, hexatonic. Okay, let's do um, A major. Hex Actually, let's let's do this instead. Uh, can you play the C major ones? all five forms of the hexatonic. And again, if you don't know those well, this would be a good book for you. The next one, let's take um, C minor, because we're going to do these every single week. You'll go up every form and down every form. So let's take C minor now. So C minor hexatonic. And again, you know these, uh, if you've done book seven, you should know all these forms. But being able to just do them uh, off the top of your head in every position. So if you're improvising, no matter what position you're in, uh, you'll be able to play these scales. All right, and so those are the uh, ideas from um, from System Eight, our Book Eight. Um, so uh, again, if you know these well, move on to Book Nine. There's probably some really new material in that one. It gets really challenging, nine through twelve. Um, but if uh, if if this feels like this would be a good place for you to be, Book Eight might be the uh, the book for you to have. So hopefully that helped you.